we started back in 1956 as a nonprofit. We're still a nonprofit. And uh, what we, uh, the reason we started was because enlisted service members didn't have a lot of options for life insurance back in the 50s. Uh, they were considered to be a higher risk group. Uh, and so a couple of uh, uh, enterprising young army officers started the association. They found a carrier that would uh, write a group policy for enlisted members. And, um, and that's how we started. We've grown over the years. We include all military members and federal employees and their families, spouses and families. And uh, what we do is we offer um, quality, affordable group term life insurance to military members, federal employees and their families. Well, I think the, the kids that come here, and not only in the S2S program, but, uh, uh, but the things they do once they get to the NTS uh, are something they take with them for the rest of their lives, I think. And there are really some sharp kids that, that uh, attend these sessions. Um, but I think, they, uh, I think they're all leaders when they get back. Uh, they come here and they interact with other kids who are clearly leaders in their school and in the S2S program, and they go back with a kind of a renewed sense of what they can be doing. Well, right now, I see a, a downsizing. It's, uh, you know, Secretary Carter said today that uh, uh, the kids that are in school today have, have lived their lives under the shadow of war. They've, that's all they've known. And I started thinking back, and even their parents, uh, you know, have, have, since 9/11, have, have lived, lived under that um, uh, that type of an environment. But I see that the challenge now for military families is, as we're drawing down, um, more military families are leaving the lives that they've known for many years. So uh, the challenge is really assimilating back into civilian life. Finding jobs, um, you know, finding a place where they want to settle, uh, making sure that they uh, have all of the things that the military kind of automatically provided for them, medical care, um, you know, places to shop, places to live, and all these things. Uh, so I see one of the big challenges for military families, not just military kids, but military kids it might be a plus, you know, because they've got mom and dad around if they're not being deployed, but um, I see it as a family challenge uh, for those families who are being um, uh, downsized and, and put out in the civilian world.